Hello and welcome to the Circuit Breaker event. Stage 5 is taking us back to Spa where our minds were completely blowing yesterday with how many corners this car could take totally flat out. It's just, well, quite crazy. And then it gets crazier. So, I'm starting this day with still the, the same upgrades I had yesterday, which going from left to right would be 111000. So, engine, drivetrain, body, I've got one for each of those, and then nothing for the rest of them. Now, this looks like it's really, really easy. It's horrible. This car, with tires like this, is an absolute disaster. When it starts to slide, it keeps on sliding. It just keeps going and going and going and going. So you have to really baby this. I just lost, watch that. See, look at that. I lost it just a little bit. It just keeps going. So there you find out that this car, it feels really heavy when that happens. Like, well, kind of like you've got this battery that weighs a couple of hundred pounds in the back there. It's bad. So, sorry this looks really boring, but hey, I'm trying to make it interesting for you. But that's, you got to be really careful till you get uh, right about this point. Now you can start to treat this a little bit more normally, but I'm still going to break a little bit here because I don't want to get this far and have to restart this again. You wouldn't believe how many times I had to do this just to get a whole lap without going off track and crashing. Because once you slide off track with your tires really, really bad, you just keep going. You can't get back on before it fails you. It says no off track. That's not true. You get about a second, second and a half that you can. Now, almost at 100% tires. Now it's going to act normal. And the timer is going to start. Oh, nuts. There you go. I was just totally off track for a little bit. That means I can't really spend any more. It's going to be pretty risky. There the timer starts. Now let's go. And this is kind of like, well, I didn't optimize that very good. Something's wrong here. Let's just check this out. Uh, I'm speeding this up. There we go. My sensitivity was on zero. That's why this car was feeling so bad on that first corner. I just couldn't steer through it. I'm used to running on sensitivity two. That's my default setting. I run sensitivity zero for a handful of cars. And so that's why it was at zero because I was driving something else. All right, now, now this is going to feel better. This is going to feel like what I'm used to, which means full throttle through the chicane, like this, and still full throttle here. And let's adjust this hairpin braking point. Got to clean this up a little bit. On the brakes less. Got to get used to it. Like right there? No, I didn't optimize it. So I'm going to have to improve that later today, I bet. For this particular one, we'll just see how much that hurt me. Because uh, sometimes you can't afford that much of a mistake. You might not have noticed that I made a mistake. I was on the brakes too long on that hairpin. You can tell because I didn't have to drive to the far outside exiting that corner. Means I could have been back to the throttle earlier. And so I'm going to have to push that because I might run out of time. I don't want to do this stage again. This is actually my first time getting my timed run. I had so many attempts where I just blew it because my car stepped out. So this is my first attempt at a timed lap. And let's just see. I'm getting pretty nervous. Uh, that was okay, but my goodness, is this clock getting low? Please show me the start-finish line. Now, now, now we do it. Good. Not much left over there. Woohoo! Okay, well done. Great driving. I agree. This one gets pretty crazy, and some of you guys have asked for some of my outtakes. Okay, here's one where I was going to pass this stage, and boom, I smashed tan and failed. Okay, let's get into this one. What is harder than taking Spa flat out on so many corners? How about a horde of LMP1 cars? So see what I'm doing here? Blocking like mad, taking some off-track cuts, getting in front of that guy to get a push. Then, I would really like to overtake this guy at the next corner. I don't know if I'm going to pull that off. Let's see. I really, 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 really want... Ah, oh, I took that wrong. In some of my other attempts, I did get in front of him and got a nice push all the way up Camel. But that's okay. Really aggressive blocking is required for Fontana. You need to get pushed all the way up this hill, all the way up Camel. But you've got a nasty, nasty car behind you. 
They can't have the same amount of grip as we do, but they've got a huge head of steam. So you need to be blocking and do what I did yesterday. See, I'm gonna drive a little bit to the right, make him go left. Full throttle, full throttle. Now this, man, you gotta know your competition, okay? And so I'm gonna do a very small braking point here. Back to the throttle, baby. And really fast overtakes. Holy cow, are these fast overtakes. I'm gonna take Puan wide because this guy's gonna, whoa! I actually had a swing to the right to pass him. And without wrecking at Puan corner, full throttle. Come on, man, that's pretty crazy. So, yesterday, I'm acting like it's so hard to take these car corners flat out. Today, I'm taking them wider and realizing, oh my goodness, I wasn't pushing it as hard as it could be pushed. There's more in this car, guys. You can push it even further. Like, wow, so now, aggressive blocking, aggressive blocking. I had them give me the pitman over a few times. Here, I'm giving it to them because I, I just couldn't get up there in time. And then I know I can break better into this corner, but he's gonna catch a little bit. I don't mind, I don't mind a push down here. Uh, they have to over break. I don't mind this because it's helping me with my average speed requirement. And then I want Smith to push me all the way up Camel, but there's two of them, <gasps> three of them. Okay, on other attempts, I had one of them goes flying past me and then they were trouble for me in the chicane, so. I'm gonna try to weave back and forth and block everybody. Let's just see if I can pull that off. Can I weave back and forth and block everybody? This is risky, but this is what it takes. Um, I think I'm doing it, I think it's okay. Yep, now I can do that little trick there. Okay, one more car is all I need. Remember, it when it says you just need to finish third, only finish third. Don't finish second even if you can and don't finish third by any more than you have to. Now, these are monster cars we're contending against. So initially, I'm gonna pass this guy and get a massive lead, maybe reel him back in at the line. I should have no trouble overtaking him in the next three corners. I just have to be delicate here. See, look how wide I took that without any issue at all. And look at that, there's another bot. So it's possible I could actually get second. I don't want to. But at this point, I'm not slowing down because that fourth place bot could be on my tail in no time at all. Oh, I see there. He's starting to catch up. Is he going to appear? There we go. He appears. Look how fast he gains. But I can reel him back in a little bit now. Very careful not to go off track here. You want to win by as little as possible or pass the stages by as little as possible. There we go. What kind of lap times was I doing facing those LMP1s? Better than all of them. Wow, pretty amazing car. Now this stage, I could not do this with the upgrades I had. So let's just see what I've added. So I added two more body, one more tires and wheels. I didn't add the suspension or the brakes because I don't need more grip or more brakes at this point. What I need is speed because there's a minimum speed requirement here. And drafting alone wasn't getting me there. Also, because Zoe is way far ahead of us, really far ahead of us. So you can't wait for third place to get behind you and push you, you can't slow down. And you can't catch Zoe until near the end of the next lap. Well, then you can't hit your speed requirement. So, I had to get enough upgrades to do this by myself. And that's what I'm gonna do. The current posted top speed of this car is 284 kilometers an hour. I need to exceed, or I need to hit 297.7. That should not be possible. And some people were saying, like I, I was commenting on how you just can't do this in any other car. Uh, apparently uh, there is one you can do it, uh, what is it now, the Caterham on um, Mount Panorama. So that's cool. Uh, I don't think you can do it by as much as a margin as you can in this car. I was exceeding top speed by 5.6% yesterday, which is shocking. So let's watch this. Um, I'm going to take this wide. Okay, see, I'm going to widen these corners out because I need more time to build speed. So there I've exceeded top speed. Let's see, there we go, 297, 298. Whoa, baby. That's pretty amazing. That's 14 kilometers an hour faster than the posted top speed of this car without drafting. Now, yes, I'm going downhill, but compare that to every single other car in the game. You just don't do that. So 
that's just so cool. This car is just amazing. I think part of it could also be the acceleration rate of electric cars. That's been a continual problem in this game where it would happen in drag races, where it wouldn't account for a single speed transmission or even when there was two speeds, like in, a, let's see, the Porsche had the, the recent Porsche there had a two speed transmission or probably not call a transmission, whatever, two speeds. <laughs> now, okay, back to the race at hand. Zoe is driving off, but you can see there's a lapped car. So that is what we need for our advantage. Drive crazy aggressive. Really, really, really keep it down. Still have to hit speed one more time. So I have to be strategic and deal with slow lapped bots. I'm about to lap someone. So this all comes down to the hairpin. Um, There's a very specific point that I'm breaking at, but I'm getting back to the throttle earlier than I was yesterday. Uh, with the proper trajectory. So here I'm going to overtake this guy. That's a Toyota yet. Uh, there's a second curb kind of, second one in the green. Uh, that's my braking start point, but I'm into the throttle early. Take this corner wide. See? Staying quite wide. I will be passing this fellow on the outside. Sticking it wide, sticking it wide. Another Toyota TS040. No, TS040. Unbelievably fast car, but their grip cannot match. What happened to Zoe? Holy smokes! Must have got tangled up with that other bot. Because I just can't imagine Zoe just flying off track on her own. That did not happen the last time I tried this stage. Huh. That's shocking. Okay. Uh, in some of my attempts, I couldn't hit the speed target even with the upgrades I have. So you really need to listen to what I was saying about that hairpin. You got to get on the throttle early. Take the corners wide so you can hit speed with these upgrades I've got. Now I'm reeling Zoe back in. What did I just see? Two bots? Be careful. Yikers. And there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. there's two of them almost pitting me. Okay. That was good. That was very good. Lots of words. Blah, 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 blah. Let Zoe overtake you and draft her for 500 meters and then pass her back and win. Yahoo. But lots and lots and lots of words to get that done. So... I will make Zoe push me all the way up Kemmel, and once I get close to the top of Kemmel, as I near the chicane, I will let her pass me, because she is weak in the chicane, I am strong. No, it's not that she's weak, it's the LMP1s can't take it full throttle. They're not weak, don't get me wrong, they just can't take it full throttle like we can, and we can take it way faster, so there, let the Porsche go. Porsche, that's got amazing grip in the chicane. But look, I'm on the brakes. I don't want to plow into her. I don't want to fail the stage. It happened to me once. You hit this car hard enough, you're done. So I've already got my drafting in. Hairpin, I'll take it back. Thank you, Zoe. Would you mind taking a back seat to a real professional driver who can talk like he's telling you a truck? I'm selling you a truck on American television. Because apparently that's how you have to talk if you sell a truck. All gravelly and aggressive. Anyway... We're not selling trucks. We are driving an amazing car, the Volkswagen IDR. I love this car. I really, really, really do. And probably at the end of this day, I will be buying the two remaining ones that I haven't paid for. I'll only do the R portion. I will not be spending gold on grip or brakes. No way, because you just you just don't need it in this car. The only reason why I brought I bought the one uh, on the far right, whichever it was, is that had an acceleration component. So that's why I bought that one. I was trying to find non-gold ways to boost my acceleration. So here I'm going to reel Zoe back in. Don't want to win by very much. Okay, that's good. And what's going on? Oh, nuts. I, had no, I didn't realize that that's, that was all an outlap. That doesn't make any sense at all. I, I'm, I'm confused. How can I still be on lap one of one? It doesn't matter. Here we are. Okay, well... What? Zoe just crashed again. I guess Zoe's not a very good driver. That's two crashes and two races back to back. Uh. Well, this is going to be kind of boring. Here, let's try something fun. Let's see what this car looks like at four times normal speed. And wow, that's really, really, really crazy. 
<laughs> that's definitely that's definitely faster than the Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo. There we go, and I'll reel Zoe back in at the very end here. But you know what? That was going to be long and boring, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to keep it interesting. I'm going to keep it entertaining. Thank you so much for joining me. Here's a playlist link if you haven't seen the other days. Yesterday was epic, mind-blowing, wow. And hey, guys, thanks. Uh, more coming your way. See you tomorrow.